Welcome to the second video of Garage Robotics Studios. Today's video combines Raspberry Pi Zeros with water bottle rockets. My cousins got into water bottle rockets and I wanted to see if I can make the rocket take the Pi for a ride. The Pi would measure the altitude and record a video of the Einstein Lego figure going to space. Alright, so it isn't Einstein and the Lego guy isn't going to space, but I thought it would be good to put Einstein in space in the title. So there are four goals for this project. The first is to incorporate LEDs. I did a previous high altitude project as a part of a NASA competition and there were some difficulties with having the program execute at the right time. I wanted an LED light to tell me when the program was ready and then a green light mark that the altitude and video were getting recorded. Here is an example of the yellow light signaling the Pi Zero is waiting for the signal to start recording the video and altitude. The next goal was to make the rocket go over 50 feet. I believed achieving a high altitude would require a larger water bottle rocket. I mistakenly thought that I would need multiple iterations to make the rocket go straight and go as high as 50 feet. The third and fourth goals were to record all altitude and video data. With the goals set, I was off. First, the 3D print. I planned to print the first version and do a test flight. I followed SpaceX and tech companies' motto of moving fast and breaking a lot of things. My first design was a rough quick design testing how everything might come together. Here is the CAD design. The Pi module held the Pi Zero, the battery, the BMP388 altitude sensor, and the camera. This is the adapter that will connect the Pi module to the rocket. And here is the water bottle rocket. Oh, and here's the Lego man. The Pi module weighed 109 grams, which seems a little heavy. Now the human hand launcher test. A quick throw and a soft landing. And here is the video. We are ready for liftoff. We achieved a 58 PSI. That was all the small handheld pump could manage at the time. Three, two, one, liftoff. The launcher actually worked. I wasn't expecting this. I thought it would not go far, not go straight, and absolutely demolish the first Pi module. One of those three did happen. The landing completely destroyed the Pi module. The GPIO pins were bent and the camera extension broke off. Let's take a look at the altitude data. The sensor output is in meters. At first glance, the rocket traveled 38 meters, or over 120 feet. Looking at a graph of the data demonstrates some unusual characteristics. The first characteristic is the two points at 38 meters in height. I think these two points are inaccurate. After considering these two points, I believe the initial thrust moving up may give aberrant readings. I hypothesize that as the rockets get propelled upwards, the immediate space that the sensor is monitoring shifts upward in pressure quickly. The air molecules get forced out, creating a micro vacuum. Since the sensor uses pressure to determine altitude, the sensor sees this micro vacuum and believes that the altitude is higher than it actually is. The likely peak altitude is around 25 meters, just over 80 feet. The second characteristic is at the end of the scatter plot. Here I think the impact jarred the sensor and made the sensor give a reading of 7 meters when it was actually at ground level. The first test flight hit all four goals. The LED lights worked, the altitude was greater than 50 feet, and the Pi Zero recorded. There is much room for improvement, however. The Pi module could be sleeker, a second sensor could be placed to compare different sensor modules, and the rocket could be larger and prepared with a higher PSI. Although I may return to Einstein in space and set more ambitious goals, I'll take the goals attained and move on to the next project. Thanks for watching and don't be afraid to subscribe.